Hello everyone, welcome to Hunt Electronic. This is your friend Saki. And the today's topic we are going to discuss on is a DC motor. Yeah, or also known as a direct current motor. So in today's topic we are going to uh, learn about uh, DC motor types of a different DC motor working principle its construction various part of the DC motors like a yoke pole field winding armature armature winding what is meant by the commutator and a function of commutator brushes so uh, DC motor uh, or you can say a direct current motor which converts an uh, electrical energy into the mechanical energy so there are various applications available uh, around us okay so in the figure you can see the dc motor there are different shapes and size of the dc motor so every child in their childhood you know if you have got a remote control car or a drone or some uh, toys over there if you have opened the toys or if you have broke down the toys if you open it you will find the dc motor over there so dc motor is nothing but it is a device which converts uh, electrical energy uh, into the mechanical energy or a fairly a simple electrical motor that uses an electricity and a magnetic field to produce a torque which in turn rotates and hence gives the mechanical work as the output now let us know the different types of the dc motor the classification of the dc motor depends upon uh, the way the connecting the armature and the field winding of the dc motor so there are different ways how we can connect over there so let us see what are the different types over there so the dc motors are uh, classified as a separately excited self excited and a permanent magnet so the permanent magnet is a type which we are using in the toys drone uh, everywhere uh, for a small application dc fans over there then again we in the self excited we have got a shunt type a series type and a compound type and again in the compound type we have got a cumulative type and differential and in that again the sub category we have got a long shunt and a short shunt so let us see the application the application of a dc shunt motor so the shunt motors are the type of the motors which gives the constant speed of the motor hence uh, it is used in uh, applications where you require the constant uh, output speed uh, like in a lathe machine a drilling machine your grinder your mixer blower compressor so there are n numbers of application uh, which required the constant speed uh, in that type of application you required a dc shunt motor now when we are talking about the dc series motor so these are the motors which are used in the application where the starting torque required is very high and it should have a quick acceleration yes so uh, generally it is used in uh, traction hoist lift crane rolling mills and conveyor nowadays uh, nowadays you, uh, you got a dc motor applications like and you know uh, your electrical bikes ev vehicles uh, so n numbers or applications are there nowadays which we are developing because of an a uh, low power consumption over there like in a bldc motor also so let us say in short what is a working principle of it okay so working principle is very uh, simple if you take uh, any current carrying conductor and if you place that current carrying conductor into the magnetic field you know it will get a jerk or simply you can say if it is a rotor type it will get a rotated so this jerk will rotate the rotor so let us see when a current uh, carrying conductor is placed into the external uh, magnetic field it will experience a force okay and uh, due to this uh, force the torque is produced which rotates the rotor of the motor hence uh, the motor runs or it starts rotating over there uh, now let us talk about the construction of the uh, dc motor if you see the construction of the dc motor uh, it includes the first it includes the internal it is a terminal which is connected to the brushes uh, brushes are con uh, connected to the armature then commutator is there sorry commutator then armature windings are there okay the field winding over there uh, for the armature then there are a stator magnetic and so on let us see the front view of it so you can uh, see over here shaft is there on shaft there is a one commutator is there okay commutator uh, it is on the armature okay so armature conductor is there uh, then the armature conductor then you you can find over here the poles these are the poles of the motor 
okay uh, this is known as a pole shoes over there and on this pole there is a field winding okay and the outermost part of this motor is known as a yoke or it is also called as a frame now friend uh, let us see uh, one by one uh, all the detail uh, construction parts and uh, it's so the first the most important the outer part which is known as a yoke or it is also known as a frame okay so uh, generally it is outermost uh, cover of the dc motor which is also called as frame as i told you it provides a protection to the rotating parts uh, uh, parts of an, a machine so internally it has got an armature armature winding field winding or the armature which is a rotating part over there so uh, by the wear and tear from the dust and moisture so it uh, provides a protection over there yoke uh, uh, is an uh, iron body which provides an a path for an a flux to complete the magnetic uh, uh, circuit it provides a mechanical support for the pole so we have seen in the uh, construction diagram so inside uh, first you have got a yoke frame and then you have got a uh, poles over there and then the pole shoes are there so it provides a, a mechanical support for the poles now the material which is made up of it is a low reluctance material such it is made up of a cast iron silicon steel uh, rolling steel and a cast steel etc then the next innermost part uh, which we are going to talk about now it is called as a pole over there so this is a pole over there which is connected uh, uh, to the frame over there or yoke you can say over there here you you will get a field winding over there and this is a pole shoe over there so whatever the field winding it is over there if you uh, so uh, if the current is passed it will convert this pole into a magnet okay so let us see the poles are a uh, electromagnetic it produces the magnetic flux when the field winding is get excited so whatever the field winding over there if you uh, uh, apply uh, uh, when the current is flowing through it it will get excited it will con con it will start producing in a magnetic flux over there the construction of a pole is done uh, using an a lamination of a parallel shape to reduce uh, the power losses power losses due to the ed ed current losses over there when i am talking about the losses over there so we are going to uh, in my future youtube video uh, there will be a separate uh, uh, video on uh, different losses in the motor okay so meanwhile just remember uh, that a lamination of a particular shape to reduce a uh, power losses due to the ed current so there is one other the, at the end there is uh, this part is called as a pole shoe the pole shoe is an external part of an uh, pole which is extended over there and due to its typical shape it enlarges the area of the pole so that the more flux can pass through the air gap to the armature okay so the greater the area the more and more the flux is going to pass to the armature that that is the material for uh, material to uh, produce a pole or to manufacture the pole it is used uh, as a cast iron uh, uh cast steel is used for the construction of a pole and pole shoes that so the next part over there it is in the field winding which I, uh, earlier as i told you it is uh, uh, used uh, for uh, uh it is used in the uh, uh sorry uh, on a pole shoes which is wounded over it wounded over the pole when the when it get excited over there the pole is converted into the magnet so it is electromagnetic so that is winding the coil is wounded on the pole core are called as a field coil the field coils are connected to the series uh, to form a field winding so there are uh, n numbers of poles over there uh, sorry uh, two three four five depending upon the construction and all these are connected in the series form current is passed through the field winding uh, in a specific direction to magnetize the pole and the pole shoe uh, thus the magnetic flux, uh, flux is produced in a air gap between the pole shoes and the armature the field winding is also called as an excited winding and the material which is used is uh, generally uh, for this winding it is a copper over there even the aluminium is used nowadays uh, but generally uh, for uh, a good lifespan over there it is generally made of a copper due to the current flow through the field winding and alternate uh, north and south pole are produced so it converts into the magnet and due to this flow there is a north and south pole is generated over the next after the pole and a uh, pole winding and this it comes about the armature core 
An armature core is an, a cylindrical drum mounted on the shaft. It, it provides the large number of slot over the peripherals and uh, it's parallel to the shaft. So you can see here the armature core is a cylindrical uh, drum. Okay, so you will find a n number of slots over here. The armature conduct, uh, conductor are placed in this slot. So there are slot over there, armature conductors are placed in this slot over there. An armature core provides a low reluctant path to the flux produced by the field winding. The material used for this uh, armature core it is a high permeability, low reluctant cast steel and a cast iron material is used. The lamination, uh, the laminated uh, construction of an iron core is used to minimize the ED current losses. Next is the uh, armature winding. So we have studied about the armature and there is an armature winding over there. An armature conductor is placed in an armature slot present on the peripheral of an armature core. The armature conductor is interconnected to form an armature winding. When the armature winding is ro rotated using a prime move, it clucks cuts the flux line and the voltage get induced into it. An armature winding is connected to the external load through the commutator and the brush. So here it is a commutator and uh, the brush assembly we will see in the next slide over there. So this is connected to the external load okay uh, where from where the current is going to flow over there. The material uh, generally it is used uh, for an uh, armature winding uh, it should be made up of a copper uh, for in a long durability. Now we are going to talk about the commutator. So this here the armature, this is the armature winder and this is the commutator. So there are the slot of the copper you can see over here. Uh, with the help of the commutator there are a uh, few brushes are connected to here and this is connected to the external load. So it is a cylindrical dumb mounted on the shaft along with the armature core over there. So you can see the shaft and on this shaft the commutator are uh, assembled over there. So it is made up of a large number of welded shaped segment of a hard drawn copper. The segment are insulated from each other by the layer of mica. So if you see this, this is the one slot over there. Then the next slot and between these two slots there is one insulator. Uh, material which is uh, generally it is of a uh, thin uh, made up of from the mica. The armature windings are tapped at a various point and these traps are successively connected to the various segment of the commutator. So if you see here you have got an armature winding and these armature windings are connected to the commutator uh, internally here one by one. So uh, all these armature windings are con connected to the commutator and the commutator are connected to the brushes and brush are connected to the external load over there. So the function of the commutator, it converts an AC EMF generated internally into the DC and it helps to produce the unidirectional torque and it is generally made up of the copper. Now let us see what is meant by the brushes. Now we can see here the commutator. So there are n number slots of the commutator. For an example, we have shown only the two slots over there. So there are two brushes which are co uh, connected to it. So the current are uh, conducted from an armature to the load or from the external uh, load to the armature vice versa uh, by the uh, carbon brushes which are held against the surface of the commutator by the spring. The function of the brush is to collect the current from the commutator and apply to the external load in the form of generator and if you are uh, using uh, that as a motor then the external current is uh, given to the uh, armature through the brushes. Okay, it goes uh, from the brushes is go to the commutator from the commutator it will go to the armature and then it will get a jerk over there. The material uh, which is used to make the brush are it is made of, of generally of a, a carbon and uh, they are generally in the rectangular shape and size over there. So my friend this was a uh, a different uh, short video on the different types of a DC motor and it's uh, in short it is working principle and the construction and various part of the DC order. In the next upcoming YouTube video we are going to just see the animation type of working of the DC motor uh, then followed by what is meant by the speed equation and the torque equation. Okay.
फॉर मोर टेक्निकल वीडियोज माई डियर फ्रेंड प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब वीडियो